Hello, I'm Tawana Carlton, your host of Soul Cooking with Tea. Just wanted to pop back in. I wanted to show you I was in here finally after I ate something. Took a break and wanted to come back in so I could show you how I am getting my corn ready for the freezer. I told you we got some summer corn. I've already shucked it. Got all the hairs and everything off of it. And so now I'm in here taking the kernels, uh, as you can see off of the corn you just take your knife and go down i used to watch plenty of days my grandmother uh doing this uh at home in down south taking the corn off getting it ready for the freezer so you can see i've gotten all of the corn off of the husk so now i just show you so i did it with the blade going down to take the kernels off now i'm going to take the blade to the corn to the husk with well, the corn Cob, and now I'm going to pour all of the rest of it off. So you could do it that way, or you can do it with the back of the knife. Whichever one you feel comfortable with doing it so that you can get it off. Hopefully that you can hear me well, but I just wanted to come back in and show you how, uh, as a young girl growing up in the South, uh, that was how I watched my grandmother many uh, Saturdays during the summer taking the kernels off getting the corn ready to go in the freezer and you can as you can see it pops everywhere so make sure you have a place where it's covered uh, your floors or, or if you're at the table or I can remember my grandmother and them uh, making sure they would sit on the steps but they made sure it was all clean and everything was covered uh, so that they have a table uh, outside so that they would um, get all the corn and so that way they didn't have to do a lot of cleanup <laughs> in the house but they made sure they had the table you know covered with newspaper that's why I told you that, that newspaper uh, in a home in a southern home uh, used for what was used for many of things in the home and so that's why they always had the newspaper and so I just wanted to come back in uh, and give you just a, a demonstration of me getting my corn ready for the freezer. And the only thing I'm doing is just taking it off, just like that. And you can hear it, it just comes off, it's real juicy. You're just getting all of the rest of the corn that you didn't shave. Now you're just getting all the juice out of the husk. And see, as you can see, I've gotten everything out. There's nothing else there. Now, Living in the South, the the uh, there were people in the neighborhood or people that you knew that had you know hogs, and so when we would get through uh, with the corn doing it like that, uh, they would come by and pick that up so that the, they could put it in the hog pens for the cow. So there's so many uses of this corn after we you know get finished with it and cutting it, uh, they would come by and. You could take it to the hog pen, you know, for the hogs, and they would, you know, finish the eating of it. And so it was just so many uses and so many things I learned uh, from my grandparents and people in the neighborhood about cooking and just about life. And so again, I'm Tawana Carlton, your host of Soul Cooking with Tea. And this was just another pop-in of Soul Cooking, getting ready for the winter, taking our summer corn, getting it off of the husk, getting it ready to uh, be bagged up, put in the freezer. So when winter comes, we'll be able to enjoy some of this summer corn that we had. So again, uh, I'm Tawana Carlton, your host of Soul Cooking with Tea. Hope that you are having an amazing, amazing 4th of July. Have a good day.